to Bob's Garden. Today we're going to show you how to work with air plants on cork. This is a continuation of our series of uncommon plants for common households and we're going to be talking about Tillandsias and we have a video all about Tillandsias and if you've seen that video you know that they don't require soil but they can be mounted anywhere. This is Tillandsia tecorum and it likes a lot of bright light so we got that by the window and we're going to mount these on cork. Now here is some examples. Um, this you see is a rather large Tillandsia with a couple others in, in here and you can see that I have a, a screw eye in here so it hangs on a wall like this. We also have another one here that we did, smaller one. So uh, what we're going to do is we got this huge piece of cork and um, you could theoretically you could put this whole thing on the wall. You don't need to break it up into pieces. You could take a lot of these plants in here and you can just fill the whole thing up with them and cover the entire surface of them and mount that on a wall. Uh, that's, that's entirely possible. So what we do with this though, I'm going to make a smaller one to show you how to do it. And what you need for that is you'll need some kind of saw, folding saw. And what I do is I like to find these cracks and crevices and I follow those lines all the way through here and in here and I'll start making a cut. Now this is rather thick but it's very light. So what I did here, see, and I followed this natural crack in here and you want to have some interesting patterns. You'll see on the back that doesn't do us any good because it's all flat and nothing's going to hold in there. So I came in through here and I cut that piece off and that's what we're going to be using. So there are two ways to do this. One way is just to glue these on. So I already picked out a couple of these Ironatha and we're going to put these like this and we're going to glue them on here. But also we're going to fix them with some fishing line. Now I like to use this um, this green colored fishing line, but you can use these were ones were put together with the white fishing line. Uh, you can see it a little bit. It's not that noticeable, especially from a distance, but you can see that wrapped around there. Um, so it doesn't matter whether it's green or white. That's up to you. And I know where these are going to go, so we're going to get these situated first and we want to get these in here a couple of times several times make a good strong knot here and then we'll cut this and that's going to be for one and then we'll put the other one over here so we'll get another one going now when we do this the plant and the cork must be absolutely 100 percent dry you cannot do this if any part of this is wet it will not work when especially when you're using just the glue I, I do this combination because over the years the glue seems to wear out some of this gets a little loose I can show you that here you can see it's it's not really glued in here very well so I do both but you can just do it with the glue just expect that at some point you might have to redo it also at some point there may be one that just doesn't survive that happens from time to time and um, then you'll take that old piece out and, and replace it exactly where it is. I had another one on this one uh, that was right here that died after five, six years. So I put a, a new one in there and then it completes again. So you can, you can renew them. So we've got two 
ready to go here. And we have a cyanoacrylate um, glue. This is E6000 plus. Um, it works on multiple surfaces and it will not harm the plant. So we take a little dot of this and you see there's no roots and we'll put a little bit of dot right where that is and we just put it in there very easy and then we'll do this same thing with this now when you select different air plants for your display here This is going to need a little bit on the side here. When you pick your plants, the Tillandsias, they should be somewhat similar. So in that the fine-leafed Tillandsias require more frequent watering than the ones that are fleshy like this. And actually, I'm going to, I'm going to move these around. I'd rather have this one here. That's better. That looks better. You have time to work, so don't worry about it. They're going to go where they want to go for now. So uh, make sure that you have the same kinds because if you mount them in the same place, they're going to have different watering requirements. These require uh, more water and these require less. About once a week we spray them. So now we just matter of taking the ends of this sometimes it's helpful if you let the glue dry that takes about 15 minutes um, and that is helpful and it's hard to keep track of my ends here because it's <laughs> kind of hard to see okay so we uh, make a little slip knot here and we just come right in through the entire thing and then we'll do it again and then we'll put that one in so uh, as I got going here on this, I decided that it looked better with one extra one. And generally, design-wise, it's better to work with odd-numbered pieces. So uh, that works out quite well. I'm very happy with this. And there's two ways you can do this. One is that you can this um, the glue will will disappear. You won't be able to see it. Uh, and we can put some um, sphagnum moss over this area to hide the. Uh, the fishing line, but in any case you could display it on uh, uh, just like this um, If you want to put some decorations you can put some seashells around here or some rocks and you can put it in a tray and it would look quite nice or You can hang it and we would just screw in this uh, In the back you put a little bit of glue on this so it won't come loose and screw it onto the back and then uh, you can hang it on the wall. Now I would hang this with the pointy end up and the base on the bottom because I think that that looks a lot better than the other way around. I'm being careful with this now because the glue hasn't dried. We're going to let that sit uh, for at least an hour even though the um, glue only takes about five minutes to, to uh, get going. And, and then we will soak this for a half an hour in water. Just, just put the whole thing whatever you use to soak it in make sure it's not something like a tub that you use to clean things with it should be just a, a plain ceramic uh, bowl um, that doesn't have any residues uh, no, no, no plastic residues or uh, no residues from a uh, soap dish so uh, something out of the dishwasher will work just fine with that um, but you don't want to use the same tub that you use for holding uh, wash water in there. So um, this is a, a lot of fun. Uh, these make really great gifts. Uh, you can get a whole bunch of this um, this cork at uh, orchid, uh, orchidslovecork.com. Now um, that may sound like a strange name, but orchids do love cork. And uh, there's a similar mounting method for orchids. Uh, but it doesn't uh, use glue and you have to put some sphagnum moss in with it, but we're, we're not going to show that to you here. Uh, so this is uh, make a really great gift. Um, we've done these for wedding favors, uh, smaller ones, 
uh, we can get you can get a whole bunch of these rather inexpensively. Uh, you can get them wholesale, um, and um, they're uh, very easy to take care of. And now once a week after you soak it, the next week uh, in my house I just use a spray to soak these. And if you see my video, you'll see how I do that. So thank you for watching Bob's Garden, and we'll see you next time. Please share, subscribe, and comment on my videos. And remember, be curious, not judgmental.